What's happening guys, DDB89 here, back with some more Dragon Ball Legends info, and today, uh, I'm back, yep, I've been away for a while, I did post two or three videos while I was away, but uh, I didn't really get to drop the information I wanted to drop, like I said, I was away, so I didn't get to really put anything on, so this is pretty much a retent of what news has pretty much come out, and some information you might not know, some information you do know, but most people will be up to date, so we're just going to go through the little bits of info, like I said, that has changed while I was away. So pretty much the, the day I left, the day I literally went away for a while, um, a few things dropped. Now, I did manage to go on one of the summons, uh, which was a trap banner, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So the video is on the channel. It should have dropped yesterday as of the recording of this video. So yesterday it should have dropped. Uh, so yeah, guys, make sure you do check that out. And if you are new to the channel, guys, make sure you do hit that sub button. And a big shout out to all of the new subs and, of course, my old subs. Uh, do love all the help and support you lot are giving the channel. So what we're going to do, guys, is go through some of the information that we got. So we already knew we had the Android 21, and that is from the, of course, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, but they dropped a few more things. So we... Like I said, I'm going to go through some of the stuff. We got the announcement um, that the 2.4.1, they had the error and they gave us the uh, gifts. So we got a gift, I believe it was a 1,000 chronos and 10 medals. So guys, if you haven't redeemed that, make sure you do check out your prizes or your gift section. Then we got an update on the story. A lot of people have been gagging, have been crying for story. So we did get an update on the story. Um, they added a future tag, or the future tag, sorry to the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. So he's got the future tag. I don't really know why he's not really a future character, but maybe because he dabbled with it. Uh, maybe if they bring out a um, Goku, Super Saiyan God Goku from that sort of time period, they may give him the future tag as well. But uh, that's neither here nor there. They also did, of course, give Vegeta some uh, new voice work for when he's fighting against Goku Black. So guys, make sure you check out that as well. So like I said, the story part six has been updated again. So guys, make sure you do start playing up. They've added, like I said, story part six, book five on normal. Uh, hard should pretty much come out pretty much when they're on part seven. And they've updated various events. So going on to more information is, of course... They have changed the Legends Road now. It was the Trunks one. Now we are on to, of course, the Legends Road Namek. So this is the um, Piccolo. Now my boy at Game with Cosplay, his link should be in the description below, and his tag or link should be, uh, well tag profile should be on the screen somewhere now. Um, he made a video. I normally make these videos as well, but he made a video, and I'm not going to do the same thing of the best team to run, of course, to get the maximum amount of medals. So make sure you do check out his channel, check out that video if you wanna, of course, level this character up to six stars because they have give us the ability now to get enough of these medals, or they call them turbans, yep. But enough of these medals to, of course, get him to a level six star. So guys, make sure you are jumping on that. And of course, when you clear specific areas, you can get access or excess chronos. Um, the date from this was the 19th of February and it's all the way until the 4th of March. Okay, so the 4th of March, it will be finishing. So make sure you do jump in it. And like I said, he did make a video for you to actually make and get the best um, best team to get the best medals. Okay, so make sure you do jump on that, guys. Uh, they haven't really added anything different to it besides um, more coins, platinum coins and pretty much increasing the Rise and Soul Super Souls. And, of course, the Z-Powers for the Piccolo himself. But, like I said, my boy game with cosplay, Rocky, he did make a video on it. So, make sure you do check it out. And make sure you let him know that I sent you that way. So, uh, from there, we got a new login bonus. So, we already know, once again, like I said, about the Elegant Android. Now, they only updated this part on there because they added, well, they opened up the new mission part where you actually fight Android 21 in her evil form. Uh, so, guys, make sure you do check out that. And... Uh, yeah, like I said from that, we already know about that. But we got a new login bonus, which the good thing about this login bonus by tomorrow. So as of this video, it should drop. The Tomorrow should be the last day of getting these tickets. So if you have logged in every day for the past seven days, you should be able to get your fifth and final um, Hungry Monster guaranteed sparking ticket. Now, like, I, like it says on here, you need five of them. You need five of these tickets to actually get. So hopefully you've been logging in every day. And tomorrow... After this video drops, 
you should be able to um, summon on it. So guys, make sure you keep a lookout. And if you, like I said before, you're not subbed to this channel, make sure you are, because I will be dropping the summons for this and as well as the basic tickets that I've been dropping as well. Uh, I believe I did make a video on how to collect those. So once again, check through the uh, playlist and see what is going on. So uh, from there, we did talk about before, like a few videos ago, about the ultimate battle dropping and they finally have dropped it. It's live now. Now, uh, I did go into more detail of this before in another video about how the rank system way it works and that your characters are going to be maxed level. So probably your best team, your best team or best character to drop in there will be Shallot at the moment. Shallot's without a shadow of a doubt going to be in your team if he's seven star limit, uh, seven star plus or seven star red or whatever, uh, limit broken. He will be an OP character to have in your team. So make sure you are jumping in. There are new medals to collect for him, but there are equipment medals. Uh, they, ugh, I, to be honest, I looked through it all and it wasn't all that, but we're going to have a check on it as well after. Um, I didn't really go into this. There's not really much. Like the PvP mode for me at the moment has really dropped a lot. They will be dabbling between standard PvP and the ultimate battle PvP. And the rewards you get from your Master Pack 3 uh, tickets, Master Pack 2 tickets and rare medals as well. Uh, you can also get the Ultimate Battle Warrior uh, banner as well. Uh, as well as a few chronos through fighting and etc like that. But it's pretty much exactly the same as your standard PvP. It's just the different levels that you're going through. Um, more items in the shop. We don't really go through that because we do like to try to play as much free to play as much as possible but yeah they've added more chronos and skip tickets to the shops as well now i did make a video on this legend return super saiyan god super saiyan vegeta uh not going to go into too much detail on this but it's a trap banner but it's a really good trap banner it's a really good trap banner because one whole cycle there's only four steps one whole cycle is 1900 chronos you're guaranteed a sparking on your fourth uh, step up and it's only 100 chronos on the last one. But like I said, you need 1,900 to do the full set. If you're balling with all of these chronos, then it's worth dropping at least two cycles on there uh, just to get that LF Vegeta. And like I said, he has got new voiceovers for him when he's fighting against Goku Black. Also, you can get the Goku Black Rose and of course the standard Goku Blacks and other variations of Vegeta. So, like I said, I did make a video on that. It wasn't really face cam. It was just me talking over what I went through because I did summons while I was away. Uh, once again, there are more tickets for the Premium Legends. So, we're going to go on to the Premium Legends campaign. You have to buy them, of course. So, these are pretty much your um, LF or your lim uh, Legends Limited characters besides, of course, your Goku Black Rose. Uh, there will be, uh, these tickets will look like this. And like I said, there will be several characters on there from the Legends Limited Collection. The Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the Goten, uh, and I believe the Goku Black Rose on there. You've got um, some standard characters, so uh, I don't know if it's worth the risk. If you've got the money to dabble in it, then it might be worth the risk for one of the three slash, well, one of the three Legends Limited, one of the four banner type characters. But if you haven't got any of these characters in your roster at all, then it may be worth jumping on it. But it should finish within the next few days. So it should finish within the next few days. Uh, well, I say next few days, sorry. It should finish on the 10th of March. So you've got a little bit of time on it. You've got a little bit of time. Uh, and then lastly, guys, is we've been announced with the Super Space Time Jewel. So this is a PvP top characters that have been used. Now, I used to make a lot of videos on those. If you want them to come back on me talking about uh, the characters, rankings, and where I believe they should have been, then let me know in the comments below. But you see on there the standard stuff that's there. Of course, the new characters get some limelight. Um, they go from the hero, I mean, Sparkins, to Extremes. And of course, Shadow should be the top one in Hero. He's been top ranking from day dot. So he should. Uh, he's not really going to change because he's so OP. And now there's some new issues, of course, with the uh, ultimate battle but they've sort of changed those and sorted them out so like i said i was going to look at some of the um, medals in the exchange shop that we can get so with the pvp matches you do get medals to exchange for uh, equipment 
Now, the equipments aren't really all that, to be honest, but it depends if you need them. Some of them are okay. Like, you've got the Platinum Medals, which are really good. So you've got the Seer, You Fool, Believe in Yourself, Go Hunt, and Truth of the Survival Games. Is they, They're probably the best ones there, hence them being 10 medals. And then you've got some mediocre ones that you can pretty much grind out anywhere. Maybe there's some of them that you might find it difficult to get so you might want to jump on them uh depends if you're very metal uh equipment based in your fighting strategies me at the moment i still cannot use them it's been pretty much nearly a solid year so uh it's not really there for me uh then we've got our sparking ones they're still the same when it updates i will let you look know and as you can see i've got quite a lot of medals so i just need to start pretty much deciding what i want to spend my medals on though guys if you've got any recommendations let me know in the comments below and I'll probably jump on it soon. It won't be a video, but I'll be there. Of course, getting all your macaroons for the Android 21. Not really much going on there. Uh, she's just pretty much just doing her standard stuff. They've added a few more energy tickets and skip tickets to it. So that's all right. And then, like I said, the Namek uh, Piccolo. They've added a few more Rising Souls, Super Souls, just so you can get those extra... Um, well, level them up to level six. The Oni Adventure should be finishing very soon. The New Year's Adventure should be off in the next four days or so. But on the 11th of March, your Oni Adventure will be over. So, guys, make sure you do use those Oni uh, medals. Mainly, I pretty much use them on your Rising Souls and your Super Souls. But... Anything else is not really worth it unless you really got any other ideas. The slot removers, they were very good at, to begin with, but rubbish now. And other than that, all of the rest are pretty much not really worth jumping on or talking about. But guys, like I said, it was going to try to be a quick one. It's been a bit longer than I thought I was going to talk, but I've been away for a while. I've got a lot to say. Guys, make sure you do sub to the channel. Check out my boy's Game of Cosplay, Rocky's channel. He has got a lot of uh, content same as me, a bit different as well. We try to not cross over as much as possible, but if we haven't got a choice, we will, of course, cross over the same one. And we've always got different insights, which is great. But guys, that is it for me today. Like always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment for more in the future. And until next time, peace.